Wow. Oh my goodness. My family's going to flip. We almost never see a native-born African identified in the family trees of black Americans. And there's a very good reason for that. The slave trade from Africa to the United States ended in 1808. So by the time all African Americans were identified by name for the very first time in the 1870 federal census, their African-born ancestors had long been deceased. As a result, many African Americans believe that we can never find a paper trail back to Africa. But there are exceptions. Jesse was born about the year 1815, also in Mississippi. But there's something else about Jesse that I want to show you, something that's really surprised me. Would you please turn the page? Okay. Now, Sterling, would you please read where Jesse's parents were born? Birthplace of father, Africa. Birthplace of mother, Africa. Combing through that magical 1870 census, we found Sterling K. Brown's fourth great grandfather, a man named Jesse Allen. And we discovered that his parents, Sterling's fifth great grandparents, had actually been born in Africa. That single magical word, Africa, brought Sterling K. Brown to tears. Wow. Wow. And his emotion points to something much deeper, the power of genealogy to help rebuild families that had been shattered by slavery, a power that can be startling to behold. When you hear like your friends talk about their German ancestors and their Irish ancestors and Italian ancestors, like I feel like I'm, I'm on the cusp of like, I can in join in that conversation. Yes. Right? This is awesome. 